Hello? Testing, testing. Hi there. My name is Rohan Bebe, and today we are going to be talking about the eclipse. Okay, we're going to be talking about the two types of eclipses, the solar and the lunar. Let's start with the first one, the solar eclipse, more common. The solar eclipse happens when the moon comes in the way between the sun and the earth, blocking, leaving some of the moon's shadow on the earth's surface. There are three types of solar eclipses. The first one being the penumbra. Okay, it it basically shows the the moon partially covering the sun. Then the second one is the antumbra, which basically shows the moon covering the sun, except you can see the sun's outline. This one is the most common. And then finally, there is the umbra, aka the total eclipse, when the entire moon covers the sun and you can't see anything. It's just full darkness. And then it moves away, okay? And then it moves back. And typically, solar eclipses can last about to seven point, well, seven and a half minutes. Around seven and a half minutes, a solar eclipse will take. And a solar eclipse can also depend on your perspective because the moon, the moon's shadow, okay, say it's, it's happening in uh, America, right? Say you're all the way in China, you don't know what's going on. You can't see the lunar eclipse, I mean the solar eclipse because it's on the other side. And say you were nearby, like Canada, you could see some of the solar eclipse, but in USA, the, you would see the full so, to, uh, total umbra solar eclipse. And that's basically what a solar eclipse is. Now, what about a lunar eclipse? A lunar eclipse happens when the Earth is blocking the light from the sun to the moon. Okay, so that way now there's no light in the moon area. There are mainly three types of lunar eclipses. So as we know, the moon is revolving around the sun. When the moon comes up to this area, this area is known as the preumbra. This is the area when you see you cannot see the moon fully clear because you know it's shrouded in darkness, so you cannot see it. Then when it reaches here between the umbra and the preumbra, we have a we have a mixture between both where you can see some of the moon, but there's still some of the moon that has not been that has that you cannot see. And then there is a total umbra lunar eclipse. And and when it happens, you just see the moon and it's ominously, ominously in a red blood-like color, calling it the blood moon. But it doesn't have to do anything with spooky. And the reason why it's red is because as we know, the sun it shoots out color, right? So that way we can see, like the color of this pen. Right, you know, you can see the black, right? And you know, the all the color it shoots out: red, orange, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, that kind of stuff, right? When it hits the Earth's atmosphere, it ref it basically like shoots it out in other directions, except for red, except for red, which hits the which hits the moon making it into this red light color, making it look like a blood moon, okay? And a fun fact about lunar eclipses, after a lunar eclipse is done, most likely within around two weeks, a solar eclipse will uh, happen. Just a, just a little fun fact. And well, that's basically what eclipses are, and that's basically it. Thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye!